Senses that had lain dormant for five years sprang to life in Laura, while Rye gradually lowered her foot down the center of his chest to his hard belly, then to his waistline, settling it finally against the hot, hard hills of his tumescence. Get your sweaty balls off me. What are you thinking about? I was just thinking about how to create my own cage fighting tournament. The only way to win is to make the other guy give up. So if you knock him out, you lose. And if you kill him, you lose. It's more of a, you know, it's a will to survive. So it's not about sheer force. It's not about kicking or punching. It's about that. So you can you can get his arms and bend them, or you can gouge his eyes, or if he falls down, you know, you can get him and kick him and punch him in the nuts as much as you want. It's it's a gentleman's sport. It's a battle of the wills. And oh, the cage is electrified. Hmm. Tell me a secret. What kind of secret? I don't know. Something you've never told anybody else before. Okay, one time. When I was in high school, I got really high, and I stuffed uh, dirty toilet paper in my mouth. <laughs>